Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today I'm going to do the review of the 1204 Fiscal High Grade Gundam Barbatos Lupus. Alright, here is the Lupus itself. So, now, oh, there's a couple of things I want to say, and yeah, uh, first glance, this thing is tall. For a Gundam Fairy, this thing is freaking tall. And one thing I like about this kit, yeah, the amount of detail in this kit. At first, I didn't like, you know, the Barbatos Lupus is okay, but they, they took the details, and it's like, in there. Alright. Alright, uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, when I first saw pictures of the Barbados Lupus, I thought, you know, the Barbados Lupus is a little bit over designed. In a way, I know over design is a good term, but I, there's no way to describe this. But as more, pic more pictures come, uh, yeah, this thing got, got to me, so, yeah. I, I, it's pretty good. I, I like it. Yeah, and it uses the Gundam Frame 4 runner from the Barbados 6 form. However, there are a couple of new parts. Firstly, the elbow, the elbow section here, the, just the outer section is new. There's an extra piece that uh, attaches to the old, the original runner, the original frame, and yeah, it kind of extends the arm so it's in proportion. And I believe that's the new part for the gun for the frame. Yeah, that's one of the new parts of the, the frame itself, I believe. Now, uh, in terms of stickers, well, you don't get a lot. Look at the eyes, um, the power symbols underneath, the bl the blue, everything, everything is blue on the side skirts, uh, the black on the backpack here, the f the, the thrusters on the legs, and the red on the feet. Try to remember here, oh yeah, there's a call, black on the collar right there, but again, I, uh, all these are painted, painted, painted by them, so I did not use any stickers in the kit. You want, your stickers are right here. So, that's about for... Stickers. In terms of missing detail, uh, here I'll go through the yellow on the on the shoulders, the black, the frame on the feet, the black, the frame poking through the feet. That's that's supposed to be black or gray, really dark gray, and the uh, dark. Sorry, the black on the the vents they have to be black as well. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I don't like about this kit, uh is two things. The seam lines. This is really, really bad. Like, I mean, I, I know all Gundam frames have that similar problem, but this seam line looks really half-assed, to be honest. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. You just paint the manipulators white as well, the fingertips. But, that seam line, no guys, come on. You're almost to the point that you can, like, the seam line flaw, flawless something away. No guys, please. Come on, I really think the Gundam frames should have yeah, better scene line, uh, easy scene line removal, rather than putting it in the middle and like, how the hell am I going to like, remove the scene line without, like, messing up the frame. Also, these side skirts, yeah, as seen in a couple of some reviews, these things are really freaking loose. Not loose, but they fall off easily, but, yeah, when you move around, these are, they feel loose, to be honest, but I don't think they're supposed to be loose that way. And, yeah, detail is pretty good, and the head, I gotta... Oh wow, I did not see the viewfinder there. Uh, one thing I like about this kit is the head. Like, there are a lot of parts parts coming the heads, which means everything you see here except the eyes and the possibly the, the uh, goatee right there, the, the black section right there. That those are all plastic. So all the colors here except for the eyes and the goatee are in plastic. I mean, the red, the black here. So yeah, pretty good kit. It's pretty good in detail, uh, sticker wise, and eh, it's okay. Uh, the seam lines is a bit, uh, but yeah. Alright, for articulation, uh, since the gun and frame, the articulation is pretty much the same as all the gun and frames I've seen. That goes up, down, forward and back, side to side, rotate, although if you be careful with this fin, so be careful when you rotate the fin. The shoulders can go up, can go up on the polycap, and it can rotate. The shoulder is independent from the arm. And the arms can go up that far. However, there is a little gimmick. You can pull up Rex section. Ah, you see, the side skirts are really pretty terrible. Not not terrible, but they don't. They, I wish the the pegs were longer. It pull the red section out, flip it up, and the arm range is increased a little bit. So every little helps. So that's pretty good. Let's put this back on. There we go. Is that a way? Yeah, okay. 
Oh, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, when you say your arm, be careful. These these uh things fins also get away. So I almost broke that thing. There was a rotation at the shoulder. Single joint elbow. Although I I would say it is a little bit more than the original barber tells. I don't know, but it gives illusion. It's more than the original barber tells. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the arms extended a little bit. So there's a new piece here. So you said that already. There was a ball joint. Okay, uh, that's weird, but there's a ball joint at the wrist. Uh, oh god, that's kind of weird. Okay, torso, the torso, there, there's an ab crunch, although you don't really get much out of it, unfortunately. I think the arm is kind of hindering in a way. So, yeah, you don't get much of an ab crunch out of it, which I think, I don't know. There's a, there's a ball joint on the, uh, on the top of the waist, but again, I don't... Um, you don't, you only get a swivel out of it for now. Oh, okay, you can, you can sort of do that, but you can pretty much only get a swivel, of, really. Front skirts are more together, but you can separate them like I do. Side skirt is on a hinge and swivel, but these things really want to pop off. Back skirts do not move. The legs can go forward if that's out of the way. Uh, that far. Uh, that much back out before the side skirt pop off, uh, which uh, I <coughs> excuse me. Uh, my <coughs> oh, excuse me, my toes. Why are my toes getting weird? Uh, there is a that rotation of hip, double joint knee. Uh, it's okay, but all right. Uh, there's a ball joint on top of the ankle. There is a ankle tilt. Which is pretty much on this one. Yeah. You can it's actually more easier than the or other gun I've seen. This is pretty easy. The ankle is on a on a uh, hinge and it's on a track so you can move up so you can crease up here and there. And the toe is on a hinge. And the thruster on the backpack can move. So articulation, yeah, it's pretty decent I guess, but because of these side, few chest side skirts, uh, leg articulation is somewhat hindered. Accessories, well, you don't get a lot. That's not really, uh, manipulators. So, basically, you get, okay, thank god you get, you get, like, more than two, uh, two manipulators. So, you get two close, two holding hands, and two another of the manipulators with, with an angle, so that when you hold the weapon, it's more, it looks more natural. I'll put it, I'll use it later on. And, if I can get them. Alright, uh, you do get an action-based connector. Uh, at first I thought, you know, why the hell would they give us an action-based connector? Here's the reason why. See the cost piece right here? Yeah, that looks wrong, but whatever. The cost piece, the piece is like kind of blocking the way when you put the action-based connector on, so... That's the reason why they do that. Uh, at first I thought, you know, that's stupid, but yeah, I thought, yeah, I think it should be done. So I can let it off. Anyways, uh, we do get the backpack arms, which, thankfully, unlike the original barber sauce, this does not pop out easily, which is a good thing. And so far, I mean, these things don't really do much right now because you, there isn't any weapons we have for the barber sauce, which use, requires a backpack arm, or you could you could take the take the cannon, but I don't see why not. You can use that. You just peg it on, and if I could. Yeah, you can just peg it on, do whatever you want with it. it. Yeah, you can fill it around, so yeah, it's something. And yeah, oh god, this thing looks better. I swear the barber, the original barber just falls easily. And the main daddy itself, if I can get it, it's the sword mace. Now, uh, that's the only weapon you get in kid because you're supposed to get the uh. Weapon sets for more weapons like the guns on the show on the arms and the twin mace, but but so far I don't have I can't get the option set yet because it's not in the story yet, so I have to get it like, next week or something like that. So basically, this is sword mace. Um, uh, it's a sword and a mace cross together, but to be honest, uh, it it reminds me of two things. Firstly, it reminds me of a kanebo or actually no, a kanemuchi. Uh, it's basically like a uh, a long ass club, but um. It basically looks like this, but um, a kanebo is basically 
it's similar to that, but it's spikes, but this is not spikes. Or, to put it simply, another famous thing about it, it's a whacking stick. <laughs> Which I'm gonna call it. It's a whacking stick. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's just take this out because. Actually, is it. This one? No, 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 it's this one. Uh, this is meant for the squirt mace, and it looks more, way more natural when, when he holds it. Yeah, it really looks natural. You can just put it there. Did I put it wrong? Yeah, I put it wrong way. There you go. That, at least you got some option. Uh, sorry, at least you got some uh, hand options on the. Uh, oh, <laughs> there's that. Yeah, I just realized something. Uh, the sword maze doesn't really hold that well. Not hold well, but it doesn't. It just flops around. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But yeah. Size screws are really getting better. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, it looks natural when you hold it. And, hmm, that's weird. I wonder why your wrist pops up more easily than fire would be, but, okay. Actually, wait. Yeah, the wrist, the sword mace, if you press it tight enough, it will hold, but the friction, it depends on how tight you put the friction onto the, uh, wrist. Again, sorry, my low voice, guys. I, suddenly, my throat's getting weird. I don't know why. No, it's not a sword throw, guys. Don't worry. Uh, but, yeah. I thought this is boat burning, but okay. You've got a huge ass whacking stick. And he can do whatever the hell he wants. Just whack enemies of it. Yeah, so that's about it for accessories. So you don't get a lot, but but considering the price, it is decent. Let's do some comparisons. Uh you have to do the comparison with this one. You have to. You have to. Let's bring in the original barber toss. Uh I wanna bring my sixth fourth in sixth form. But uh, it's deep in the shelf. I, I don't want to. I don't want to take it out because that thing's frustrating me. Everything's falling apart for that guy. So yeah, so you can see this guy is freaking tall. Like holy shit, this thing is tall. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the first form I made here. So yeah. And since I have it here. Here is the Scramble Gundam. I just bring it here. Uh, yeah, Scramble's taller. Just realized. But, yeah, for a Gundam frame, he's pretty tall. But this is even taller. So, yeah, that's my review of the Gundam Barbados Lupus. Alright, that's my review of the Barbados Lupus. For a thousand yen, yes, I would say get this kit. Um, compared to the old Barbados, which I previously said, yes, it's good, get it. But this thing, in terms of detail and parts of the vision, it is better than the original Barbatos. Uh, well, you could, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, the head has a lot, of, a lot of parts count, which is pretty good. And I was expecting some of the parts to be stickers here and there, but no, they're plastic, so that's a good thing. Uh, accessories are limited, but the good thing is they give you two nipple layers which are angles, which makes, makes the um, sword mace, the, the whacking stick, be held naturally, which is a good thing. Uh, like I said, you, you get the you get the back by arms, middle neighbors, and the the, the whacking stick. That's pretty much the accessory you get in here. You don't get a lot, and the only way you get like the guns and the twin base and whatnot is from the options at five with the Tekken Mobile Worker. But um, you know, I want to get it, but the thing is, it's not in stock yet. But but to be honest, for a thousand yen, it is it's really, it's really good on its own. So. If you want to get this kit, yes, get this up. It's pretty cheap for a thousand yen. Um, the option set's up to you to decide. But um, if you think the option set isn't worth it, then honestly, don't pick it up because the Barbie Tales Lupus on its own is pretty good. It's pretty good already. So, like I said, pretty good. The seam lines on the arms are bad. Uh, parts count is pretty decent. The uh, painting isn't as, isn't hard as it would be. Uh, the side skirts really bother like me, not only me but other people, a lot of people. And but yeah, the build simple, pretty good kit. I love it for a cheap kit and and pretty good kit like this. It's definitely worth the purchase. So as a guys, thank you guys for watching this review. Um, I know it's a little bit um, I don't know, say it's a bit it's a bit slow because I'm um, <laughs> it's really late and I don't know, so I, I I can't really talk much. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.